always be a part of me. You are a part of my life. You are important to me. Dad. Hey, if you're an OSX or iOS user, your Apple product is about to get more or less racist. I'm talking about emojis, those adorable little text pictures that some people annoyingly use as a conversation replacement. That's me. Steve's talking about the latest OSX update that Apple pushed out to developers. Hidden inside said update is a whole slew of new and ethnically diverse emojis. Yay! Yay. Well, people have been screaming in the streets about the lack of racial diversity in the emoji world, specifically in Apple's offerings. And now working with Unicode Consortium, the mysterious group who's responsible for emoji standardization and all other fonts and text stuff in the world, that's creepy, to finally make the weird impersonal digital people things ethnically diverse. Yay. But naturally, some people are upset with the skin tone coloring on certain new human emojis saying characters look jaundiced and that there's a severe lack of redhead characters and characters with beards. Now look, I am one of those. I am not a man with a red hair, but I do have a beard and I personally don't give a shit at all that there isn't an emoji with a beard because I have more important things to complain about, like how there isn't a taco emoji. Son of a bitch. Amongst the new emojis, there are also 32 new country flags, including Canada, Australia, and India. There's also a new Apple Watch, iPhone 6, and an iMac. Oh, oh, thank you, Apple. I get it. Put your products in there. But forget tacos, the universally loved food of my people, racists. But see, there's also new family emojis that include multiple same-sex couples, both with children and without, all with different skin tone options as well. <sighs> All right, Apple, fine, nice work, good job, you did it, but tacos better be the next one or I'm gonna hit a guy. So what are your guys' thoughts on the emojis and what stuff would you like to see in the next lineup of new emojis? Let us know in the comments down below. Steve's sick. Not anymore. Oh.